Let's start by explaining the hot sling's design. By learning the components of the hot sling, it will be easier to understand how to use the five carrying techniques. The sling is a simple tube with a curved end sewn together as you see here with the seam. The outer edges of the sling will be referred to as the top and bottom rails. You will see a small padded area on the curved edge. This is our signature leg padding. Now that you understand the design, take your hot sling out of the package and we'll show you how to fold it for use. Holding your sling open at the curved end, place the padded edge in your right hand and the unpadded edge in your left. Fold the unpadded edge inside and move it towards your right hand. Do the same with the non-curved side. Smooth the whole thing out and you are ready to put the sling on and carry a baby in the cradle, modified cradle, or front carry positions. To fold for the hip carry and back carry, do the same as before, but fold the sling with the padded edge inside. If you folded the sling incorrectly, simply flip the whole thing inside out without unfolding it, and you can switch easily from a young baby to older baby fold. For a young baby from birth to around two months, we recommend a simple cradle position. First, lay your baby down on a soft, secure surface close to where you will be working. Fold the sling with the padding on the outside and then hold the sling in your dominant hand so that the fold is towards you and the padded edge is hanging down. Next, put your arm through the sling. Then bring the sling over your head and rest it on your opposite shoulder. Find the seamed, padded area and bring it towards the front of your body, between your midline and your breast on the side of your dominant hand. The seamed area will create a pouch where your baby will sit securely. Pick up your baby and hold her in your non-dominant arm, keeping her side to your front while holding her feet crossed with your hand. Find the padding and hold it like a handle. Now open the pouch and slide the baby, diaper first, into the seamed area of the pouch. Once her bottom is in, rest her back against the fabric coming down from your shoulder. Tuck her arms inside and let go. You are now hands free. At this point, you need to check your baby's positioning to make sure she's reclining back and not sitting upright, causing her chin to press against her chest. Your baby should be facing three o'clock or nine o'clock. For a baby with good head and neck strength, you can sit your baby a bit more upright in something we've coined the modified cradle hold. You employ the same technique as the cradle, but your baby will now face two o'clock or 10 o'clock instead of three or nine. Your baby's back will be about halfway against your chest in this hold. For a baby that is a bit stronger, put him in the sling the same way you would with the cradle hold, bottom first with his back to your front and his feet crossed. He should be in an ergonomic V shape, where his diaper is the point of the V and the seam of the sling is lined up with that V point. In this position, he will be facing somewhere between 11 and 12 or 12 and 1 o'clock, depending on which shoulder you've chosen to wear the sling. In this position, your baby may find that his toes are fun to suck on. This is perfectly fine. When your baby is exhibiting good upper body strength and is sitting up on his own, this is the time to start working on the hip carry. For the hip carry, fold your sling so that the padding is on the inside. Put your non-dominant arm through the sling, bring it over your head, and rest it on the opposite shoulder. The curved padded edge should be hanging down. Find the seam and bring it around so that it is between your midline and your breast. Pick up your baby with your non-dominant arm and place her tummy on your shoulder. Bring your dominant hand under the sling and grab your baby's feet. Position the baby between you and your sling and lower her down while opening the seat pocket, lining up the seam with her backbone. Your baby should be in a seated position with her knees above her bottom. Your baby's arms can be inside the sling or out, whichever is the most comfortable for the both of you. The padding should be right under her knees as you pull the unpadded edge up her back. That's all there is to it, you're done. For an older baby, the back carry can be achieved by simply putting the baby in the sling in the hip carry position and then moving him around to your back. Move the fabric over your clothes as your baby stays in the seamed area at all times. If your baby does not feel secure to you in that position, do not continue using the sling in that manner. 
To remove the baby from the sling, simply grab him under his arms and pull him straight up to the burp position. For a walking baby, kneel down, set his feet on the ground, and pull the sling out from under his bottom and up over his head. To remove the baby from the sling, lift up all the baby's weight under his bottom, pull all of the fabric of the sling on top of your shoulder, and let the baby out from the underside of the sling head first. Catch him in your other arm. For an older baby, lift the baby up to your shoulder. Hold him there with one arm and pull the sling out from under his bottom with the other arm. Hot slings have a unique sizing system that allows you to get a custom fit. Use our handy sizing guide to get you started. But remember, people come in many shapes and sizes and trying it on is the best indicator of fit. When the sling fits, the bottommost part of the sling with your baby inside should be at your belly button or no lower than about one inch below. Some people prefer the sling to rest above their navel and other people prefer a lower fit. This is what a good fit should look like. The bottom of this size two hits right at the navel with the baby in it and fits comfortably around the shoulder. In a size three, the fit is okay. The bottom is hanging a little low with the baby in it, just about two inches below the navel, but it doesn't feel too loose around the shoulder. Now this size four is a bad fit. The bottom droops almost to the hips with the baby in it, and this size may slip off the shoulder. In this case, a size two or a size three will do, and both options work well. There are two simple ways to breastfeed in a hot sling. The first way is with a newborn or young baby. With your baby in the cradle hold, pull your shirt up or down depending on your style of top. Latch the baby on and you can easily cover up with the top rail if you prefer. To nurse an older baby, position the baby in the hip carry, pull your shirt up or down, then latch him on. Again, it is easy to cover up with the top rail if you prefer. Women with very large breasts have told us that nursing in a fitted sling is difficult, so if you run into trouble with these methods, you may want to have an adjustable sling on hand for nursing on the go, just in case. A young baby in the hip carry can sometimes lean away from the parent since his body control is not completely developed. When this happens, you can pull the top rail on your shoulder across and down, pulling baby a bit closer. As you probably already know, once our babies get older, they can get very heavy. There is a simple technique you can use with your hot sling in the front carry position to help you when carrying that heavy baby. To relieve pressure on the shoulder, put all of the fabric of the sling on top of the shoulder and then pull about an inch of material down the arm. This really makes a difference as it shifts the baby's weight from your muscle to your frame. For breastfeeding on the go, we highly recommend investing in some good nursing tops or camisoles with stretchy necklines. Tummy exposure is something most women want to avoid while sling nursing, and tops designed specifically for nursing really help alleviate this problem. Also, a simple camisole with a stretchy neckline under your everyday clothing can work in the same manner. When it comes to your child's safety while using the hot sling, use common sense. This is a very simple and versatile product, but there are possible dangers that arise with misuse. Please remember that ultimately, you should always be aware of your baby while he or she is in the sling. Examine your sling for wear and tear. If your sling shows signs of wear and tear, such as splits at the seam, holes, or defects, do not use your sling. If your sling is defective out of the package, please contact us for instructions on how to obtain a replacement. Do not take your hands off of a squirming, uncooperative baby. If your baby is telling you that she does not want to be in a baby carrier, protect her safety by respecting her needs. After the baby is placed in the sling, check to make sure all of his parts are tucked in properly. Do not leave a sleeping baby entangled in a sling, and remove the sling before buckling your baby into a car seat. Always be mindful of your baby's airways. Babies under two months of age should never be allowed to slump over in a sitting position, chin to chest. This is a potentially deadly position in some susceptible babies. If you notice that your baby tends to slump with her chin to chest, the baby should be repositioned into a reclining position, not an upright slumping position. We recommend a small receiving blanket folded and placed under the backs of babies eight pounds and under when in the cradle position.